Hello, everybody. Um, it's Aaron here from the Dental Business Guide podcast. And today I'm joined by Chris um, O'Shea, who's our resident in-house digital marketing expert. Hi, Chris. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing, Aaron? Yeah, all good. All good. Thanks. Now, today, Chris is going to be sharing his insight and techniques and points all on SEO. But firstly, what is SEO, Chris? Right. Well, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization, And it's essentially your attempt to make your website rank higher in a search engine like Google uh, higher than your competitors. So if you were to type into Google something like dentist in London, the number one stop, um, number one website on that search uh, page will be the one with the best SEO. It's the one that's optimized itself best for the search engines. So that's essentially in a nutshell, that's what it is. It's your attempt to make your website rank higher in search engines, but usually Google. Okay, yeah, well, Google's the main search engine out there. Really, yeah, essentially. It? it works for all of them, but Google is the main player, really. Okay, so how does, how does that differ to... Um, like you know you see the ads at the top does that differ to that or you see google my business how does this differ is this organic organic uh, yeah so seo is the organic side of things that's your attempt to get to the top of google without paying for it so if you type okay. in any search um any search term at the moment in google the top two or three are going to be ads you'll see a little uh, word next to the title saying ads and people have paid for that to happen so you tell google i want to appear as an ad for uh, the keyword dentist in london so when people type that in, your ad gets shown and you pay anytime someone clicks on it. But if you want to do that cheaply, or if you want to do it for free, you do it through SEO. So underneath those ads, you'll see the organic ones, the organic search terms. And yeah, so they exist just underneath all the ads. And they're a bit, they're a bit different. It's essentially the same thing. They're just links to your page, but one's been paid for and one's been done organically. Okay. All right, cool. And, and in terms of um, these keywords, what, what, what are keywords? Can you explain that in a bit, a bit more detail? Yeah, of course. So keywords are essentially the key to SEO. Um, so keywords are what Google and Yahoo, that kind of thing, use to match up your website or your web page to a given search term. So again, if you were to type into Google dentist in London, that's your keyword or rather key phrase because it's a few words. But that, those are what Google are using to match you up with a search. So they're the, really the key to SEO. It's really important where you use them, how you use them, it's one of the biggest parts of SEO, and it's probably going to be the part you're dealing with most, um, essentially. So there are a few okay, tips so, you can use. Oh, okay. go on. Sorry, yeah, one question, though. But what you hmm. said, like, dentist in London, as an example, but yeah. that's a phrase, but then dentist London would be a different phrase. Is that right? So if I typed into Google dentist in London, one website might turn up, but someone like dentist London would be a different website might come to the top. Am I right in saying that or not? Yeah, yeah. Um, the differences won't be huge with things like dentist in London or dentist London because conjunctive okay. words like in uh, Google's usually just going to ignore and it will just worry about dentist and London because it kind of okay. knows words like in, with, of, for don't really um, add anything to the search intent. They just help. Um, they're just grammar, essentially. But okay. things like dentist, and London, they're the really big ones. So if you have London dentist, dentist London, dentist in London, these are all key phrases. They'll all rank for roughly the same things. Okay. All right. Okay. So now there are um, different, uh, well, I suppose before we even do that, what, how do we determine what keywords we want to rank for? What do we do? Well, um, there are a number of different things you can do. Um, for the, the main one that you want to do and the easiest one to do is just put yourself in the um, shoes of your intended audience. So for dentists, it's essentially think of who your audience are. That's prospective clients or prospective patients, sorry. And think about what they're going to be Googling. So if you're a dentist in Birmingham, they're probably going to be Googling dentist in Birmingham. Um, so for dentists, your keywords are usually quite set in stone. They're your location keywords. So where in the world you are. And they're things like Invisalign and dental implants and emergency dentistry. They're the kind of things that you as a dentist know the people you want to capture are going to be Googling. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there are certain other things you can do. So obviously, if you want to um, have a look at what your competitors are ranking for. So just mm. simply type in dentist in your area, see who your big competitors are, have a look at their website, see what keywords they're ranking for and essentially try and do it better than them. Um, they're the two. And there are other um, tools you can use and little programs that we'll talk about a little later but they're probably the main two ways you want to do it put yourself in the shoes of the customer and check out what the competition are doing okay all right so then now there are various types of seo so the first one on my list to talk to you about today is on-page seo what's all that about right so on-page seo is 
again, one of the biggest players because it's all to do with keywords, it's all to do with layout, user experience. It's essentially everything you do on the website in terms of SEO. So there's loads of different things you can do. The main one, as we said, is going to be with your keywords. So again, something like dentist in London, that keyword, where you put it on the page is your on-page SEO. So you want to put it in the title of the page. You want to put it in subheadings on the page. You want to put it in the meta description. So if you were to Google anything, um, the little description that comes up underneath the URL, that's your meta description. So you want to make sure your keywords are in that. Uh, you want to make sure the keywords are in the URL. You want to make sure your URL is short. You want to make sure it's descriptive. Um, you want to make sure your menus are clearly labeled, that everything's really easy to click. The layout's really good. You want to use multimedia. So you want to use images. You want to use videos. You want to use text. You want to use links. You want to use infographics. There's many different things you can. All those add up to on-page SEO. Um, but having said that, you want to make sure it's quick. So if you're going to use images, make sure you compress them, make sure they're small. Um, there's no point adding a one gigabyte image with 5,000 by 6,000 dimensions because no one's got a screen that big. So one that's 300 by 400 um, pixels and maybe 40 to 50 kilobytes, that's absolutely fine. Um, okay. So that speed is a huge part of um, SEO at the moment. Um, Google's kind of caring more about speed than anything else. So and that, by all means, use that, multimedia, but yeah, keep it yeah. But that goes, back, that goes back to user experience, though, isn't it? That's what Google's really looking at these days. Correct. Absolutely. So, uh, once upon a time, keywords was pretty much all you needed. You could just pack out a page with the right keywords and Google would rank you. But they've got yeah. a lot smarter about it now. And now they, wanna, they want a good user experience. They want to make sure the user gets what they want immediately. They don't want them spending hours on your website. They want them spending 30 seconds, get the information they need, and then go about their lives. That's essentially the goal um, Google want, wants for SEO now. Okay, because I remember those days of when I started out going 20 years ago now, it was called keyword stuffing. So you just try and yeah. round the same keyword in your paragraphs and your page as much as possible. Exactly. And you'd get, and, and lo and behold, for a few days or a few weeks later, you'd be at the top of Google, which is amazing. But yeah, yeah it's and all it a bit works. It works really well. But yeah, it now did. it's really clamped down on that now. Now doing something like that really will pe get you penalized. Um, yeah. If anything, it'll drop you down the rankings. Okay, okay. And now then, so that's on page SEO. Then you've got. Hmm. Um, uh, was it local SEO? What's what's that all about? So local SEO is similar, but it's basically all the stuff you do off the page. So again, if you were to type in um, dentist near me, then it will show you, it'll usually show you a map, a Google map um, with a few pins on it showing all the dentists uh, within about three to five miles of you. That's the local SEO. So you haven't typed in Google, um, you haven't typed in dentist in London, or you haven't told it your specific location. You've just said near me and Google knows which ones are near you, and it shows you those ones, and that's your local SEO. So there's a few okay. different things you can do to boost that. The main one, and the most obvious, is put yourself in Google My Business, which is a program Google will give you. It, you just upload all your business information, and that's where Google hosts it all. Um, so that's the main, the first and main thing you wanna do. Get yourself in Google My Business, get your name, your address, and your phone number all on there, Make sure they're all the same, the name, address, and phone number, I mean. Make sure they're identical, formatted correctly, um, exact same address, website, that kind of thing. And that will really start to boost you. That's how Google's going to link you up with dentist near me as a search. Sure. Okay. All right. That's really helpful. So, so you've talked about on-page SEO briefly, local SEO, and then there's um, something called backlinks. What's all that about? Yeah, so backlinks are, they're a big part of SEO. They seem to be becoming a little bit, I mean, I'm talking about in the last year or so, Google seemed to be um, moving a little bit away from them purely because backlinks have become so hard to get hold of. But what a backlink is, is essentially an online referral. So if you have a website that links to another website, that's called a backlink because you've linked back to another website. And I said they're like referrals because essentially they're what Google uses. Well, it's one of the things Google use to see how trustworthy you are, to see um, how uh, knowledgeable you are, how authoritative you are, how well-known you are in either your location or your industry or your niche. Um, so essentially, I mean, you could you could get a backlink from any website in the world, but if you're going to get a backlink from something called fakebacklinksforyou.com, Google aren't going to like that. But if you're a dentist that have got a backlink from the NHS or from the BDA or from uh, a newspaper because they've linked to one of your blogs, that's huge for you because Google see that and they think, right, well, the BDA and the NHS have linked to this website and it's a website about dentistry. These people obviously know what they're talking about. So you're going to really rank a lot higher if you can get those backlinks. But like I said, unfortunately, it's becoming harder and harder to get that because people want you to pay for it or it's 
because everyone knows about this now. So these kind of websites are getting inundated with requests for backlinks. So you really, at the moment, the best way to do it is to create a great piece of content. So a great blog, a great article, a great video, and then get that out there to things like magazines. Um, lo local is one of the keys to this though, because it's really ties in with local SEO. If you've got a load of local businesses linking back to you, Google's going to love that. So if you've got um, all the local churches and schools and beauty pa parlors, anything like that linking back to your website as a dentist, Google's going to see that and think, right, these people are known in the area, they're trusted in the area, let's show them dentists near me as a search term. So backlinks are huge. Um, so okay. if you can get any backlinks, do. Um, again, with okay. local SEO, though, one of the main things you can do is local citations. Um, so if you, I would, I, once upon a time, there was a thing called Yellow Pages that now mm. have all gone online. So, but they still exist. Um, there's 118118.com, there's yell.com, there's yelp.com. Um, most uh, local councils also have their own online business directories. Get yourself onto all of these. Even if it's just a link to your website, get yourself onto as many of these directories as you can because they're backlinks and they're local SEO as well. Because if it's a local one, if, especially if it's your local chamber of commerce, let's say, and you get a backlink from their website, from their online directory, that's brilliant because Google sees you're a business, you're online, you're known, you're trustworthy, and you're in this area. Um, okay, so yeah, that's, okay. that's the basic to backlinks. So that, but then, okay, so you're talking, so we've talked about SEO here, but one thing we haven't talked about and which I suppose is the fundamental uh, kind of platform for, for SEOs, you need good content, correct? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and that's the key to this really, isn't it? Yeah, um, pretty much. Cause I mean, not only is uh, your content. So when we say content, we mean things like blogs and articles and videos and webinars, but you, your content isn't just getting information out there. It's one of the main excuses for you to use keywords. Um, so your website, let's say you're a dentist and you've got a page on Invisalign. That's a great excuse for you to have some Invisalign keywords on there. But I mean, that's just one page. That's, there's only so much you can do with that page. But you can then write hundreds of blogs on Invisalign. There's top tips, there's how to's, there's stories, there's info articles. There's a, a million different things you can do. And they're perfect excuses to start writing about Invisalign. They're a perfect excuse to start writing about Invisalign in London or Invisalign in whatever your area is. Um, mm. So yeah, content is really key to all of SEO. It's, it's your way of showing Google customers, audiences that you know what you're talking about, that you're trustworthy, that people should buy from you, essentially. Sure, um, sure. So yeah, their okay. content is key to all of this. So, okay, so 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 in order to do this, it, I guess it's, t it's quite time consuming. It's, um, it's not rocket science, but it's you need to dedicate someone or get a team to help you to do this, correct? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it, it, can, be, it can be done on your own, but as yeah. you said, it's a, it's a hill of beans. It's going to take you a while. It's going to take you a while just learning how to do it, let alone mm -hmm. actually going ahead and getting stuck in and doing it. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, if, I mean, if you can get someone to help you out, do. Because, like you said, 10, 20 years ago, it was a lot easier. Google wasn't as up to date on this. Google just they didn't have the algorithms, but now they mm -hmm. do. It's a lot harder to um, rank. It's a lot harder to get this right. Everyone knows about this now. Um, so once upon a time, it was just digital marketers. They were the only people who knew how to do this. But now there's mm. so much help out there that everyone, every, um, every Tom, Dick and Harry, they've got a chance to rank in Google. So it's getting harder sure. and harder and harder to beat the competition because the competition is getting better and better and better. Sure. Okay. So what, what tools finally can people potentially use that are out there uh, in the marketplace to, to help them with this? All right. So there are a few you can use. Um, the two main ones I'm going to talk about are, well, the first one is there's a few different options, but you want to get a plugin, a, any plugin for your website that helps with SEO. So the two best ones that we've really worked with are Rank Math and Yoast. So these are plugins, you put them on your website and it'll basically give you a checklist of all the things you've got to do for each page to get the SEO ranking as high as possible. So it'll, it'll tell you things like um, your URL is too long, shorten it. You haven't used your keyword in the Met description yet. Here's where to put it, that kind of thing. It'll, it'll give you a checklist, um, but they're not, um, they're not exact, they're not perfect, but they really, really help. So they're a perfect free way of doing that. Um, the other one is a paid one, but is really useful. It's called Ahrefs, and it's essentially just a dictionary of SEO. There's so much data on there. You, there's so much you can do with it. It's got so much keywords analysis. It's got um, Google analysis. It shows you who's ranking and why they're ranking. Um, so if you've got the time and you've got the money, 
Ahrefs is definitely, definitely one that will help you with your SEO. Um, but Rank Math and Yoast are brilliant free programs that you can use, and they'll essentially give you um, the ins and outs of it. They'll they'll show you what to do. They'll give you the basics. Okay. And and those plugins they're 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 available on WordPress websites, aren't they? So that's how yeah, we um, pretty them. much yeah. any um, any platform you can build a website on will have either Rank Math or Yoast. Uh, Yoast okay. especially is the biggest one, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fantastic. So so in summary, okay, SEO is it's it's it sounds like it's essential. It sounds like it's so important, especially in today's market, if you want to be competitive on Google. But yeah, it, absolutely. It, it'll take time to, to get there. Um, but if you dedicate resource and time to it, you, you can rank number one for see key search key search terms, correct? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, if you're smart about it, if you know what you're doing, and, and like you said, if, if you're patient and you, you, rate, you wait for Google to do its work, you can rank number one for so many keywords. Um, yeah, it's a lot okay, of work, okay. it takes time, but it can be done. Yeah, okay, all right. And I suppose, well, that's great. I suppose you could also, in the meantime, run a pay-per-click campaign as well, see so it's at the top, and eventually you want to try and reduce your pay-per-click commitment because you usurped it with your SEO work, and uh, eventually you won't have to pay any pay-per-click money to, to Google. That's the exactly. idea, anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you can do it for free, it's absolutely better too. But in the meantime, yeah, PPC is definitely a good option. Okay, so any last comments to, to listeners out there on SEO, Chris? Um, essentially, the main, the main takeaways I would, I would give people are think about your keywords, make sure you're creating content around those keywords, uh, keep refreshing your website, don't create a website and then leave it for 10 years because Google will notice that. Um, refresh things as often as possible, create blogs as often as possible, um, email people in the area with your blogs, with your website, try and get those backlinks there if you can. Um, yeah, and just keep refreshing it and keep and be patient. None of this is immediate. You, you can't just create a website and expect Google to rank it number one immediately. It will take mm. a few months. It will take six months minimum, really, um, yeah. to get into the top 10. But once you're there, you'll, you'll start noticing a difference. Okay, fantastic. Well, Chris, that's been really, really helpful, really interesting. Um, and I'm sure we'll, we'll be back on the podcast soon talking about some other digital marketing aspects. So that's us today. Thank you, Chris. Okay. No problem and, at all. Uh, Brilliant. And uh, we look forward to sharing you, with you some further knowledge on the Dental Business Guide podcast very soon. Check you out soon. Thank you. Bye.